Hi, my name is Josh Godfrey. Welcome to today's weekly lesson. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, exploring modes within the practice of your scales. Um, hopefully all of you are practicing your scales regularly. That's part of your, your daily routine and regimen as far as approaching keyboard percussion instruments. I want to give you a way to maybe embellish that a little bit and incorporate some of the most common modes in the practice of your scales. Now, whether you know it or not, you're playing every mode of a scale when you practice a scale. So if I practice it, if I play a two octave C major scale, I've just played the C major scale, the D Dorian scale, the E Phrygian scale, the F Lydian scale, the G Mixolydian scale, the A Aeolian or minor scale, and the B Locrian scale. I've played every one of those scales just by practicing that C major scale. So you can't say, well, I don't know those, I, I can't do those, I, don't, I, I, I wouldn't know where to start. You actually are practicing that when you practice a major scale. But we can do it a lot more intentionally with just a few minor adjustments to our scale routine. And maybe not all of those, but maybe the ones that you're going to find um, that you may encounter most frequently, particularly if you're doing any jazz improvisation or things like that. So we're going to look at the four modes that I think show up most frequently um, in all sorts of performance literature, but especially jazz. That is major or Ionian, minor, which is Aeolian, Dorian, which is the second mode, and Mixolydian, which is the fifth mode. I'm going to go through what each of those is very briefly and talk about how to practice them in two ways. One is a parallel way and the other is a relative way. So let's just take the major scale that we know and I'm going to do a, a modification of a, a green scale pattern um, to practice just, just over one octave of that major scale. So I'm going to go up five, down five, up nine, down five, back up to the ninth, down to the root, ninth root, okay? Just simple pattern. You may have been familiar or encountered it before in, in different ensemble settings, but here's just that modified green scale approach to the C major scale. Now, the parallel mixolydian, which means still starting on C, changes only one note from major. That is the seventh note is lowered by a half step. So if we go to the seventh note of the C major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we get to a B and we're gonna lower that by a half step. That makes it a B flat. So by incorporating a B flat in my C major scale, I've made that a C mixolydian scale or the parallel mixolydian. So I'm gonna play that same pattern using the B flat. That's just my practice of my mixolydian. Change one note, lower the seventh. If I change one more note, I can move to the Dorian mode. The Dorian mode, different than major, has a lowered seventh and a lowered third, the third note of the C major scale, C, D, E. We're gonna lower that a half step and make that E flat. So now I'm playing the exact same range of notes going from C to D, but I've changed two pitches, B to B flat and E to E flat. Scale. So I played C major, C mixolydian, C mixolydian, excuse me, and C Dorian. I'm going to change one more note, and that's going to get me to minor. The sixth note is also lowered in the minor scale. So I've lowered the B to B flat, the E to E flat, and then the sixth note, which is A, I'm going to lower that to A flat. And that gives me the Aeolian mode, or as we often refer to it, the minor scale, the natural minor scale. Same pattern, same exercise. Lowered seventh, lowered third, and lowered sixth. And now I've just practiced all four com what I would consider common modes of the C scale. The C major, the C mixolydian with a lowered seventh, 
the C Dorian with a lowered seventh and third, and the C minor or Aeolian with a lowered third, sixth, and seventh. Now that's moving through a parallel process. Now I can do that with every scale. So let's say I'm gonna uh, move up a step and I'm gonna do the D scale. So I'm gonna start with D major. Seventh C sharp becomes C natural. Lower the third, use an F natural instead of F sharp. Then lower the sixth, use a B flat instead of B natural, so on and so forth. Go through the whole process and get that same set of modes. Now that again is using the parallel mode. So I'm, I'm taking still the same starting note every time. You can also do what's called the relative mode. I said when you play the C major scale two octaves, you play every mode. Well, we can do that more intentionally by starting on the different notes in that scale to create those different modes. So I can play, play C major from C to C. The Dorian mode is the second mode, so I can play the Dorian mode from D to D. The Aeolian or minor mode is the sixth mode, so I could play from A to A. And then the Mixolydian mode is the, the fifth mode, so I could play from G to G. Always only playing the notes in the C major scale, but specifically starting and ending on those pitches. And I'd probably do that this way. Go up the C major scale. Back down all the way to A. There's my A minor scale. Go back up to D. So I'm playing C major, A minor, D Dorian, G Mixolydian, and then ending again on C. And I've specifically highlighted the starting and end note of each of those relative modes. Again, it's all within C major. I could do the same thing in D. So I'd start with D major. Go down so I can play B minor. So, a couple ideas of different ways to mix up your scales and incorporate modes. Again, those four modes, the Aeolian or minor is the sixth mode, major scale starting on the sixth note. The Dorian mode um, is the second mode starting on the second note of the major scale. And then the Mixolydian mode starting on the fifth note. Or if you want to think of it major, Mixolydian is a lowered seventh, Dorian is a lowered seventh and third, and Aeolian or minor is a lowered third, sixth, and seventh. Hopefully that mixes things up for you a little bit in your scale practice and gives you some great ideas to how to expand your familiarity with modes. Have a great week.